Welcome back to another video everyone. This is a really exciting update we have here. Recently, KDFans.com, which is ran by the same people who run BGWFans.com, posted an article with some supposed plans by King's Dominion for a B&M wing coaster, which at the time these plans were made was set for a 2021 opening. The article, which I will link in the description, it's a great article, go check it out. There's a lot of information there, way more than I can go over in this video. The article includes a lot of details about the ride and it's very similar to a wing coaster in China at a park called HB World. The difference with the layout presented in the plans here is that it's missing the vertical loop and the helix at the end. So that's kind of interesting. It looks like it'll only be around 100 feet tall. That's fine. We all know that a coaster doesn't have to be a huge mammoth ride to make a great ride. KD Fans does mention that these plans are from several months back, about four months or so ago, allegedly. So these may not be current. Things could have changed since this, or it could still be the same. Who knows? But take all of this stuff with a grain of salt. It's still speculation. All of this is meant to be a proposal, apparently, for a replacement for Volcano, which of course closed early 2019. This huge open area just is a big eyesore, and Volcano was basically the park's most popular coaster. So they definitely need something fairly soon to fit that space. So I think we're gonna be seeing a coaster here in the next couple years, possibly as early as 2021, as these plans would indicate. Personally, I love the two wing coasters that I've been on. This is a much smaller iteration, but I think it still looks great. If you watch a POV of the quote-unquote hot go iteration wing coaster that you can find in China, it looks like a, a great wing coaster, honestly. Despite its small stature, it's one of the smallest, if not the smallest, wing coaster out there in terms of height. This would be a great ride for the general public at King's Dominion. Obviously, this wouldn't be a coaster aimed at hardcore enthusiasts and... Obviously, that's not what they're going for when they add a new ride. I think this would do great for King's Dominion. It would be awesome to see them add another B&M to the park. The only one they have is Dominator, the relocated floorless coaster from Geauga Lake. And that's an absolutely fantastic ride. You can go watch my review. I love Dominator, and it's my third favorite coaster in the park. But it would be nice to see a newer B&M added here, as that's the only B&M they have. This could add something great to the park. Looking at the plans here, if all of these plans were to become reality, then there would be a huge plot of the volcano land still left empty, which is pretty interesting. That could be for many reasons. My speculation is that it has to do with cost. They had to hurry up and try to get a replacement as soon as possible for Volcano, and they couldn't spend a whole lot of money in relative terms, so they had to go with a, a smaller size B&M. And I think that's why it might be on the smaller scale, why it doesn't take up that whole plot of land. But this would certainly look great in that area. These wing coasters are absolutely beautiful. Just look at Gatekeeper and that iconic entrance. Obviously, this would be quite a different ride should this come to fruition. But I would really love to see a wing coaster come to King's Dominion. In fact, if you watch my What's Next for King's Dominion video from a few months back, a wing coaster was one of the models I talked about in that video as a potential replacement for Volcano. A lot of people have speculated that as well, and it would work great in this area, I think. It's not the best coaster they could have gotten, obviously. Not necessarily the thing I would have wanted the most, but nonetheless, it's a great fit. I think it'll be good for King's Dominion, getting them another modern high thrill looping coaster. And I'm just really excited for this overall. Like I said, there's a lot that I haven't gone over in this video that is in that article that I have linked in the description. Definitely go check out that article from kdfans.com. It's fantastic. And of course, like I said, the same people also run bgwfans.com, and that's the site that gave us all of those, you know, leaked plans several months back for Busch Gardens Williamsburg new coaster, which turned out to be Pantheon, and they're also providing us with leaks about this new coaster that's supposed to open in 2021 at Busch Gardens as well. And so far, they have been very reliable, so it seems like their sources are very good, and like I said, still take all of this with a grain of salt. They make that very clear. None of this is set in stone in any way. But let me know what you guys think about
about this. Are you guys excited to see something like this at King's Dominion? Should this actually pan out and come to King's Dominion? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you guys so much again for watching this video. Be sure to like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.